the West Point Cadets parade at New York as their team meets Notre Dame. The Irish football's last minute men kick off to Army and Monkmeyer runs the ball back to the 27 yard line. Army's ball, Grove on the reverse, makes five yards. Meyer fades back and tosses a long pass. Taken over the shoulder by Grove, who scores the Army touchdown. Notre Dame fights back as Bill Shakespeare fakes a pass and sweeps the Army in for a first down. Now Shakespeare passes to Layden for a first down. Again, Shakespeare fades back and tosses a long pass. Knocked down at Army's goal line. Now watch this play, the disputed forward pass. Shakespeare to Milner. And because the field judge ruled interference by Army, the ball is given to the Irish on Army's two-yard line. In the last minute of play, Notre Dame smashes over for the tying touchdown. The game's over, but the dispute still rages. Listen to the country's leading sports writers, Lewis Burton of the New York American. Having examined the Pathé News pictures, I feel that Grove, the Army man, coming up from the side of Milner, was making an honest attempt to get at the ball and not attempting to interfere illegally with the Notre Dame receiver. Dan Daniel of the New York World Telegram. I had a field glass on the Shakespeare to Milner pass, and the pictures bear out the indication of impetus interference by Grove with Milner. Paul Gallico of the New York Daily News explains interference. The point to be decided on interference is whether the man defending makes an honest effort to reach the ball before the man trying to catch it, and whether he bats it or touches the ball before he touches the man trying to receive it. If he hits the ball first, it's legal. If he hits the man first, it's interference. And you'll have to decide yourself from these pictures. And now we show you the disputed play again in slow motion to let you judge for yourself. A closer shot, so you may study it again. Was there interference? What do you think? 